So guys, maybe a little harsh on my last review. Because right now it's pretty much trash. But I think we just need to get some much better antennas. High gain antennas, high output power, high bit rate. Does any of this make a difference? Let's go find out. All right, it's another beautiful day today in Norway, and we are back for part two of our Cadex Walksnail testing. Today, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unlock the FCC mode. That's gonna allow us to have extra channels, a higher bit rate option, as well as 1200 milliwatts of power for the VTX. So we're gonna go ahead and just do the run that we did previously and see how the breakup, the image, and the penetration come together with this new unlocked FCC mode. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Here we go. We are at transmit power, 1200 milliwatts, frame rate high, resolution 720, bit rate is set to standard. We will change that on the next test flight and see how big of a difference high bit rate makes. that branch. Okay, so we're gonna dive down between these trees using stock antennas at 1200 milliwatt. Uh, that's not so great. Didn't seem to have made much of a difference. We are at standard bit rate. And you can see the bit rate dropping pretty fast. Uh, so we're gonna try high bit rate now. All right, so 1200 milliwatt, 720p, high frame rate. And now, we'll test the, uh, yeah, look at that. That's really bad actually. Okay, so this section of road has some trees and I'm behind some power lines, but otherwise it's got a pretty decent line of sight. And you can see I get pretty poor performance in this section as well. Um, not really sure why that is, but the stock antennas, even at 1200 milliwatts and high bit rate, just aren't really working that well. All right, uh, yeah, so what the heck? Um, I guess these antennas are trash. Let's go ahead and that can be our next step here. Hey guys, so here we have it. This is the new and improved Walksnail BRX. I have the front mount here with four SMA connectors. This sort of a rail system that I use with my HD0 goggles so I can slide all my antennas on and off. And on the back, I have a rail mount setup that goes right onto the HD0 system. There you go. You can see that that's mounted right on there. Really firm, not gonna go anywhere. Slides a little bit back and forth, but that's okay. And then you can see that the X2 Airs, for example, is right on here. And let's say I wanted to add a helical on the top of that. And there you go. You can see that there's a little up tilt on everything. Cool, huh? I think that's pretty nifty. So yeah, all the uh, STL files for this thing will be made available in the link below if you guys are curious. You just need to get some UFL to SMAs if you want to do that conversion. These are some M2 screws on here. You need some longer screws. I actually used a machine thread that you can see in this picture here. Anyway, there it is. So how does it work? Let's find out. Hey guys, so we're out here today doing some more Cadex walk style testing and we're using this new high gain antenna setup. I have two X2 Aeros from 2RC and two DIY seven turn helical antennas moment the system seems to be performing really really well go ahead and see what happens when I dip down into here yeah, not so bad okay so it's 700 milliwatts in standard bitrate the high gain antennas have made some significant improvement we have lower delay and higher more consistent bitrate however the image is still a little bit blurry and I'm curious if we can squeeze a tiny bit more performance by using 1200 milliwatts high bitrate and trying focus mode let's go ahead and do some comparisons of four different scenarios and we'll see what it looks like okay so up on the top left we have the stock antennas at 700 milliwatts standard bitrate then we move over to the high gain antennas at 700 milliwatts high bitrate and down to 1200 milliwatts with focus mode on and off. Uh, so right off the bat, the three high gain antennas are looking pretty similar. You can see that the numbers are pretty consistent between the modes. There's not a whole lot of variation. However, regardless of the setup, the high gain antennas are performing substantially better than the stock antennas. This clip here is just showing the stock setup at 1200 milliwatts and high bit rate. And you can see even with these settings that the performance is still really pretty bad. All right, so closing thoughts, high gain antennas for the win, huge improvement. I'm gonna be testing some new setups soon, so stay tuned for that. As far as output power, bit rate, and focus mode, I didn't see a massive difference between the bit rate and latency figures. The one thing that's really kind of bothering me now about the system, the camera exposure. Uh, the system seems to blow out the highlights and crush the shadows, and if we could find a way to make that more consistent at least, I think the image itself would look so much better. Now, if you're looking for the best image in the center of the screen, focus mode does seem to offer a little bit of an advantage. You can see here in the zoomed in photo, there's some more details. Okay, well, if you guys found this video helpful, please like and comment and stay tuned for my new antenna tests and to see if I can resolve this camera setting issue. Well, until next time, Giant Cowboy out.